everyone here from Aruba so in this video we're in a different accommodation to what we showed in the previous videos on the island this place is called Quihi Lodge Apartments and it's only $30 which is a great price for this island so we're in kind of like a local area but about two minute walk two three minute walk that way is the main center of Oranjestad so a great location Got a view of a huge cruise ship there. Look at the size of that thing. It says a uh, Norwegian joy on the side. And the room's pretty good as well. Just one big open space. Being able to edit some videos on there. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, and good internet. <laughs> yeah, because the internet's been a bit weird in some other places on these islands. Sometimes it drops or it gets mm -hmm. slow randomly. But here it's very good. Yeah, it's consistent. So great for working. And as usual, it just has everything that we need, all the basic facilities. And the bathroom's also pretty good, looks pretty new. We found this map here as well, which is helping us a lot with our planning for today's trip. So we're here in Oranjestad, and in the previous video, we just traveled this coast here up to Arashi Beach. So we've only seen this part so far. But we're gonna get a rental car today and head to the other side of the island all the way down to the bottom so that's what's going to be coming up in today's video so this is our mini car rental for the day it's a kia picanto kia picanto so hopefully this is good enough for our trip and we just rented this from the place that we're staying it's 40 dollars per day but if we got it for more days it would be like 35 dollars that's if we got it for two days probably if we got it for a week it would be even lower but we only need it for one day we have different plans for tomorrow which you'll you'll see in the next video so yeah 40 dollars for the day at the first stop as you can see the ATV and quad bike tours are super popular look at all these ATVs man they're everywhere and the quad bikes man that's a lot of tours yeah I think we are the only ones that are not on a, on a tour yeah well there's our car and then there's this one rental here but man these guys are everywhere there's like there must be like 200 all around here there's loads coming in the distance Looks like Mad Max. Yeah. Have you watched that film, Mad Max? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like this kind of setting. So the first stop here is called Bushiribana Gold Mills. So it's the ruin of a gold mill from the 1800s. I think you can walk up it as well. Something different to check out. Yeah, definitely a ruin. No roof at all anywhere. This place must have been huge. Got the old windows though still here. Yes, yeah, so you can walk all over these ruins. It's completely open to explore. Carol showing how it's done. Yeah, it's just too windy. So yeah, it's so windy. <laughs> hey Carol, it's funny because we just climbed to the top of the building, but then it's ground level here. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I guess we are kind of on top of a hill. Yeah, it's a bit of a hill. So from 1824 until 1909, they produced three million pounds of gold on this island, on the island of Aruba. And there is another gold mill. It's a lot bigger, I think, on the other side of the island. But yeah, this is one of the two.
So right next to the gold mine, there is a natural pool here, apparently. Don't seem to be too many people at this part, hopefully. Wow, so even though the waves are crazy like this, check that out. You go down these stairs here, and I guess the pool is over there. <laughs> this looks super sketchy, but all the tours are doing it, so I guess it's safe. Yeah, so we're going for it. A lot of other people and tours are doing it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Stairs are alright, isn't it? Too steep. It's too steep? Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty steep. And it's wet. Yeah, it's wet. Even the ground's slippery, so watch out. All good? Yeah. <laughs> this better be worth it. Basically, these rocks are the only thing stopping us from pretty much dying right now. Yeah. You'd basically be dead. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, so these are the natural pools. A really nice one there, a nice blue shade. And then I guess the main one is down here. Looks even nicer. Time to get into the second pool. <laughs> I don't know, just down here. Yeah, this is a proper pool. I'm like waist height now. Wow, look at that blue color though. Beautiful. Just, just swim over to here. You can, you can stand up. You can't stand up there. My hand. Okay. Safe. It's a bit dangerous because there is a strong current. Yeah, there's still a really strong current in here. That's awesome, we got this part to ourselves. Yeah, there's only another couple there. Yeah, oh, you can kind of go inside as well. We didn't know much about this spot. We just saw the name, we hadn't really seen pictures or anything. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, an awesome place to chill. Wow. So it's kind of weird as well, this rock. It's like a beetroot color. Yeah. It's like I've purple. I've never seen a rock like this. It's usually yeah. brown or kind of yellow. Yeah, that's bizarre. Yeah. So you got the purple, the bright blue. Yeah, very unusual place. Even the rock here, it's kind of like this orangey yellow. Weird multicolored pool. <laughs> pool cave. Yeah, so the ATV tours, they all come at the same time, all the different tours. So, yeah, if you just wait a little bit, they all leave at the same time as well. And then, yeah, you get the places all to yourself. On to the next attraction. Yeah. The cool thing is everything's so close to each other. Yeah, because the island is not so big, so if you have a car, you can drive around. And, yeah, you don't need much time to drive between the, the, the spots. So this stop's a bit different. We're visiting a donkey sanctuary of Aruba. Visit some carols. <laughs> some Christmas. You've been making the same joke the whole week. Yeah, but not About in the vlog. <laughs> the carol sanctuary. <laughs> the Christmas sanctuary. 
Thanks, you <laughs> You can't steal my joke, Carol. So check this at the entrance. Don't let the donkeys out, no matter what they tell you. Thank you. So there's donkeys all around here. Oh, we've got some peacocks here as well. Loads of peacocks. And here's one of the donkeys. Hello there. Can I pet you? Mr. Donkey. Oh. <laughs> nice donkey. What are you doing there? I got another one here. Hello, donkey. Got a cool Mohican, this guy. Oh, there's more coming. I like how this one's using the, the pathway. Hello. <laughs> they come up to you, right? Yeah, I think they want to be fed. <laughs> so we are able to feed the donkeys. Um, yeah, you can pay a dollar for these small ones, but we're gonna go for the big ones. We're gonna get two, so six dollars overall. Come on, donkeys! Oh Whoa, no fighting! Oh my god! <laughs> no messing about. Look at it. Whoa. <laughs> Let me get some. Ah, look at them. Quite the crowd. All right, you. Oh. All the bits off the floor now. Donkeys were brought to Aruba in the 1500s by the Spanish at the time and then they were used for like water distribution and transport but then with the invention of cars they were no longer needed so they were just set free into the wild but they became endangered here on the island they weren't really able to survive very well by themselves so there's 180 donkeys currently on Aruba and 125 of those are in the care of this place so Right now around here there's uh, 125 of the donkeys so yeah just donating and uh, buying the stuff like the feed you're, you're helping them to be able to support the donkeys and keep them alive here and well fed. Now come to the far east side of the island to a beach called Baby Beach. Looks absolutely incredible. And that water looks like a dream as usual. Actually it looks like the nicest water we've seen here on Aruba so far. But I think first we're gonna get a bite to eat. You can see a beach restaurant over there so yeah we'll eat first and then we'll enjoy the beach. I like the name of the restaurant here, Big Big Mama. So the prices are pretty pricey though, especially for fish. So fish with rice and beans and plantains, almost 25 US dollars. Chicken and yeah, other meat seem to be a bit cheaper, like 15. But all the stuff that's like shellfish, 26 dollars. But you do have sandwiches that are a bit cheaper. Fish sandwich with less food, but. $15.90. That also comes with fried plantains and salads, so yeah, seems like a good deal. Yeah, so even for the sandwiches, a chicken sandwich is only $7, so yeah, it's just the fish here that's expensive. I thought fish here would be reasonable since you can just fish. <laughs> You're in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. So 
these things are really cool. I've never seen them before. It's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, and I like their, their colors. Yeah, their nice. Colors all, all nice and colorful. Just chill inside, like that person there. Man, what a beach though. Carol, I think this is the best weather day we've had. Yeah, there's no clouds or anything. It's very windy, but it's always like that here. But yeah, but that's good to cool down. Yeah, it's so hot, but it's a beautiful day. This is an interesting beach as well. It's very different to any other that we've been on because the ocean out there is super strong, but there's all these rocks. I'm not sure if that's natural, and that's kind of like, yeah, protecting this area. So, yeah, it's just easy to stand around here, no waves at all. But just on the other side of those rocks there, you can probably see it, like waves are crashing like crazy. So if these rocks weren't there, nobody would be in this beach at all. Probably be able to see it better on the, the drone shot. So we've now come to our final stop of the day. It's a beach called Mangel Halto. Not exactly sure if you pronounce it like that. And it's just on the way back to Oranjestad. So we decided to stop here quickly to check it out. So this isn't a popular spot. There's not really anybody on the beach area. And it's because it's super shallow here. Apparently it's good for snorkeling. You can see all the corals here, all the broken corals. Yeah, the whole ground's broken corals and it's more of a mangrove area so all these are mangroves got a little mangrove island there can you even get through there looks like there's a trail here but you kind of gotta go in the water and not slip Is there anything here? Yeah, I think it's like a secret beach. Oh, a little beach. It's still not deep here at all though. Oh no, it looks like it goes on the passageway. I just see this in the pictures of this place that, yeah, it's like these little mangrove paths everywhere. <laughs> Actually pretty cool. Oh, another beach. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so we have no idea what this beach is at all. It's probably like um, like a four or five minute trail through there, through the mangrove. Pretty cool trail. But yeah, another beach here. Angry dogs. So like I said, we weren't really planning on hanging out here. We are just looking around, walking around. 
But it's pretty cool, you got these like buildings here right on the water edge, so yeah, this is the view from their house. I like this part here though. It's kind of creepy, it's like some creepy mangrove pathway. I don't think I've ever seen a pathway like this before. <laughs> Carol saw a, a snake as well. Yeah, I just want to leave. You just want to leave? <laughs> So we walk the opposite way now. This place is way bigger than we thought. So we had this big open area here. And then as you're walking around, there's loads of different openings in the mangroves where you can, yeah, just go in and swim if you want to. Here's deeper as well, so it'd be better for snorkeling. This is probably the snorkeling part. So it turns out there is another entrance to this place, Mangel Alto. So yeah, I think this is the proper entrance. There's like a deck here. I think you can dive in. There's people snorkeling over there because here's a lot deeper. So this is the proper snorkel area. And then you still got the mangroves here at the side. So we're heading back to the apartment now. Hopefully this video gave you some great ideas of places you can visit here in Aruba. And we didn't even drive that much either because, yeah, just the island's so small. You don't have to go very far and there's, yeah, loads of different things to do. Pretty much everything we did today was different to the last thing. So, yeah, an awesome day. And we're going to have one more video coming out from Aruba, the last video. So that's going to be tomorrow. We'll film it tomorrow. I won't mention what it is. It's going to be something pretty cool, something different for us. So stay tuned for that one. If you like this video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this from around the world. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.